New fragrance brand alert. So today's video is sponsored by Max Roman. I requested this particular fragrance as my second fragrance from this brand. And the first video is available on my Patreon. Go subscribe, show your boys some support as the people are coming after me and trying to demonetize me on the regular. Now the brand we're gonna be checking out today is the Elemental Fragrance brand. And this was a fragrance that I initially requested, but there was some discrepancies there and more behind the story available on Patreon. But this fragrance is actually cashmere sex which absolutely caught my attention based on the notes let's roll my mother in music so we can check out the elemental fragrance brand and see if cashmere sex is worth um getting a blue chew Blessing morning, my beautiful people. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. The Elemental Fragrance brand. I know nothing about the Elemental Fragrance brand other than the first fragrance that I smelled, which I think was number... Ugh. They go by numbers. I think it was number 14. Not 100% sure. Just go check the Patreon and see. This one is number, I believe, 11, and it's called Cashmere sex in the niche brand and the notes on this fragrance is what caught my attention let's jump into the notes before i crack this open because the notes are actually listed right over here if these aren't cubano notes i don't know what is this fragrance i have high expectations for because it has plum and fig including white musk and other notes which are probably not listed here so here's what the presentation looks like very clean has this classical style zoot suit style vibe it's got some shorty in the back. I don't know what it represents, but who really cares? Let me slice this chick open real quick. Bang, open up. Let's take this pack. It's a slider box. Clearly I didn't cut it good enough. It's this little snippet corner here. All right, there we go. There we go. Ah uh, yes, number 11, and it comes with a nipple tassel. That's always a plus. So it's got this nipple tassel and a little crown here. And it's number 11 with the notes listed in the front. Again, plum, fig, white, musk. That's what cashmere sex is about. That's the insert sleeve. Nobody cares. Right into the trash. And it's a nice indie little presentation. Clean, very simple, but we care about the juice, right? And let's be honest, I requested this fragrance solely because it has both plum and fig, which are some of my favorite notes just no question like these are notes that scream cubano all day every day so again i have high hopes for the elemental brand and let's hope <laughs> they coming Juicy, plummy, pruny, figgy, sweet, kind of jelly. It's a little bit of a grape jelly-ish plum vibe. The white must complement it perfectly. That's what I'm talking about. And you'll see why I'm into you'll see why I'm saying that because if you go to my Patreon, you'll see what my initial impression was of the other fragrance. That's that. Yes, the plum is very jammy, sweet. Like you could just feel the Concord grape kind of consistency. It feels like you just scooped it with a butter knife, about to lay it on a piece of white bread. The fig is perfectly balanced. It's like the ch you could you could take you could almost taste the seeds of the fig before you put it on that charcuterie board next to seven different stinky ass cheeses that smell like armpit sweat, toe jam and butthole secretions. Yeah, you spent $150 on it. This is fire. Very good. Jammy, sweet, musky fig seed jelly. There's a little bit of a raspberry undertone tartness in this fragrance that I like. Just a mild raspberry kind of snozberry Willy Wonka type vibe in this shit. Very nice. Very fucking nice. Right up my alley. I try this joint on skin. This joint is vibrating my hymen. Mm! A little spray. Let's do two. Let's do two because I like that on the test strip. Let's do two. Mm. Ooh, we 
get different energies off the skin. This is good. So we got a little bit more greenness. The white musk really pops out right behind that grape concord jelly type vibe. The fig is super present holding it down. There is more of a raspberry tartness in that or, or something in that space that comes up on top. Bitch almost smells organic. Whole foods even. Beautiful, sexy, the right amount of earthiness coming from that fig. The plum provides all that juicy grape jelly type vibe. Yes. Plum fans, I know there's a few of you out there. That is very good. Definitely uh, a redemption from the beginning. Follow my Patreon to find out. That is very good. Very good. When you talk about a plum fragrance to your boy, Uncle Kuba, it better be a plum fragrance that's on point. That is a plum and fig fragrance that's on point. Extremely well done, beautifully executed, does not smell like a synthetic mess, does not smell cheap. It has dimension, it has sweetness, it has body, it has layers. It's a very nicely executed fragrance. This is definitely a banger, must cop, at least sample by, at least sample. The Elemental Fragrance brand, well done on this joint. Definitely, definitely something that I would absolutely reach for and wear. Damn. Plum fans, only plum and fig fans. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Shout out to Max Roma for sponsoring today's video. That was... That is a vibe. That's a vibe. I see your bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. That's a vibe. Smooches.